Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a beautiful cheese tray. The first thing you're going to do is pick out what you want to serve it on. So I'm opting for a wooden board here, but you could also go with something like a slate board, um, brown paper. If you go with like a carrier of black something or other, you may want to use a tablecloth for a pop of color. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead and pick your cheeses. You'll want to have three to five cheese options for a well-rounded cheese tray. Let me pull out some cheese options that I've got for you. Now I have a variety of cheeses here. When you're picking out your cheeses for a well-rounded board, you're gonna want to select a soft cheese that will serve as the starting point. So whenever you're making your cheese board, you will start with it being uh, like a clock. So at 12 o'clock, you'll pick the soft cheese. So for us, we're gonna use brie. And then we will use the others as well. And again, these are by pungency. So you want to order it that way like a clock. And then you want to end with a blue cheese like so. Next, you're going to choose your garnishes. When it comes to garnishes, I am all about the more the merrier. Have fun with it. People love nuts, so have as many of those as you would like, have a variety. So here we have some and I'm just kind of pushing them together. And you can organize this however you would like, but I recommend separating them like so. And then of course, like when you garnish it, you'll want to have some fruit as well, because we all know that pairs well. If you are serving wine, um, I recommend using a Riesling or a Champagne, as it pairs well with just about every cheese. And we'll add some grapes on here. Um, you can also, if you want to, you could include just like a full piece of fruit, just for the visual aspect. It looks kind of cool. And then you can chop it up if you would like. I'm also going to share another fun little tip I have, which is adding on flowers to your cheese tray. So look, it kind of just like brings it to life a little bit more. You can throw in a few flowers around the cheese. Just make it pop with a little bit of color. You can also serve it with like leaves when you're adding your flowers. So we have like this, add some green to it. And then earlier I had cut a piece of cheese to show you guys like if you want to take the time to, you can either use a serving, plat a serving knife and leave it displayed, or you can cut the cheese up yourself and design it that way. Then of course, we know people like to eat their cheese. Here's a couple more that I sliced up earlier, so let me add those as well. You can see the difference there. Um, and then you'll want something, I always put this in the middle, what I think will be the most popular item. And you can move it around as you're designing it. But I always put in the middle what I think will be most used and people love mixing their cheese with crackers of some sort. So I like putting these here and you can display this however you choose so that they're easy to grab and go and taste the different cheese. And let me add in a few more items. We can also add some garlic. I've got these little pieces of garlic. You can add in just around it. Oops, that one fell a little bit. Um, any sort of, again, like I said, with the nuts are always a good option. I have a few more that I'm gonna put on this side of the cheese tray as well. You always wanna fill it as much as you can. The more filled, the better, as people love a good cheese tray. They see it as like a photo opportunity too. Put a few grapes over here. Got some more walnuts that I'm gonna put over here on this side. Um, you can again, like I said, the leaves really add some fun green to it. So you can make it however you feel. Like I like to kind of put my cheeses out there to start with, so then I can design around it. And we have the flower. Let me add a few more flowers for a little more style here. As you can see, it's looking beautiful. So this is just a few easy tips to 
to make the cheese tray of your dreams. <laughs> so have fun with it. Again, get a variety of cheeses. Remember who you're serving. If you know your audience well, or you know who's coming to your party, pick out cheese that they might like. My brie's popping up here a little bit, so I'll put that down. Oh, and I forgot almost to tell you all that I love adding the pickles to the cheese tray because we know pickles and cheese go great together. So there's that. And then when it comes to the actual serving, you can leave out some serving knives. Um, one of my favorite things to do is just add some plastic gold silverware because this makes it even easier if you don't have the serving options that you like. Just put a few gold knives on here, as you can see then you're able to cut your cheese with it you can even get it started for people so then they're able to see okay that's you know the knife i'm using for that um like that and then you have your cheese ready to go if you want to cut up the cheese sometimes people like the way that looks a little bit better so you can cut it and have it ready to go for your party as you can see there's our cheese tray and if you want to like there's really no end and how many beautiful flowers you can have you could stick some there you could put it on top of each of the different cheese items like so and then you just have a wonderful looking cheese tray so let me show you a little bit more here you go i'll get closer for you to see how good it looks adding in the flowers really brings a pop of color and then just having a variety of options for people to munch on is the perfect way to make a beautiful cheese tray for all of your parties.